Hi, I'm Jessica Freitas, aka Jess on Point, and welcome to Bar Talk. Each week I will interview a new dancer. We'll talk about real life, dance life, and drink. Today my guest is Candace Pelletier. Hi. Welcome. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Alrighty, let's grab our glasses and we'll have something to drink. Perfect. All right. Yes, we Why have. don't you tell me where you're from? Okay. So I'm a military brat. Um, I grew up in Texas. I um, I know. I moved to Vegas. I I pretty much grew up in Georgia, though. I consider okay. Georgia to my home. Um, I was there for, like, all my life until I moved into New York. Wow. And I'm really already slurring my words, and I have not had one, <laughs> one sip. <laughs> but um, so I moved to New York mm-hmm. to be a rockette, actually. Okay. So I We'll remember, get to that later. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so I moved here when I was, like, 19 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I was, I was basically a tadpole. Crazy. Came here to the big city, <laughs> uh, fell in love with it, and have been here ever since oh for, for a while. That's amazing. Well, cheers to that. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So how old yeah. were you? when you started dancing? So I come from three generations of dancers, oh actually. Goodness. Yeah, so my wow. grandmother, um, they lived in Boston. Mm-hmm. And my sister and I would spend summers with my grandparents. And okay. basically, they had the studio down in the basement of their home. <laughs> and we were forced to practice, mm-hmm. you know, hold our splits yes. and, <laughs> and practice our tap in the kitchen. And I remember not wanting to tap at all. I was like, Nana, I don't want to tap. Mm-hmm. And um, she made me. And yeah. I'm glad she did. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I would have never... Been, been able to be a rockette. <laughs> yeah. That's so, crazy. yeah, that's kind of how it started. Rockette. So, did you audition yeah. in Atlanta or did you audition here in New York City? So, I actually flew to New York. Mm-hmm. Um, I stood in the long line that goes around Radio City. If you've ever been, it basically, I don't know if you have. Yeah. To. I, I went see... once for the ensemble audition. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, you it's know. It's crazy, crazy crazy experience. Yeah, you wait in the line. Yeah, so wait, tell us about the audition process. Yeah, so basically, um, you wait in this really long line, <laughs> I had my bagel, you try to meet friends and be social. <laughs> um, so the first thing you do is you, when you get up the stairs, you mm-hmm. get measured. So you have to be five, six to five, ten and a half to be a rockette. Uh, so they measure you, mm-hmm. flat-footed, um, then you go in and you learn a routine okay. like it's normally like a jazzy tappy mm-hmm. like thing mm-hmm. um well first is jazz not tappy yeah. so it's, we do the jazz, <laughs> jazz. and so it's, it's so it's jazz. And jazz. And jazz. And jazz. <laughs> it's like three of us at a time do this number mm-hmm. um and then if you get past that cut mm-hmm. then you do a tap and then okay. you kick and then they tape you and then you may even have to come back for another day. That's day one, right? Yes. Do you do ballet? Or is it like a ballet-jazz combo in the no, beginning? No, it's like a ballet-jazz combo. It depends on the director. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's kind of usually one of their newer pieces that they're doing. It's very mm-hmm. specific. Okay. Yes. Very much like the ensemble. It's very yeah, specific Yeah, as well. very sharp, very yeah. hit everything. Oh, then how long were you a Rocket? So I was a Rocket for five years. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Five years. Um... I remember getting the news mm-hmm. about it. I was in my parents' home in Georgia, mm-hmm. and they called and said that I got the job, and I was, like, at the top of the stairs, <laughs> and I think I fell, like, fell down the stairs because I was so excited about it. And hurt and yourself, and they couldn't yeah, do the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I was like, you need your legs. You need your legs. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Um, but, yeah, it's probably one of the mm-hmm. hardest jobs that I've ever done, and I, I'll say that to this day. Like, it's oh, I just imagine. It's grueling, physically Well, how many shows demanding. do you do? So there's up to six shows a day, but typically Whoa. there's like about three shows per day. And how, yeah. like, how many days straight is there? Like, how long is so, the run the show? It's me. It's like October through January, and you start Dang. rehearsals like yeah, like in September, October. I mean, and that's not an easy show. I did see it a couple years ago, and it's you're like kicking for your life the entire time. I yeah, you're totally. <laughs> I love you. You're kicking for your life. <laughs> you really are. Um, you are kind of kicking for your life. Are there a lot of celebrities that come? But yeah, they, they do, and they get mm-hmm. special treatment, and they come yeah. to like the first or oh, the second fun. row. Yeah, so it's kind of fun. Yeah. And you can see them in the audience. Can you see? You can see like it's the such a huge first, theater. There's like five rows. Yeah. This is normally where the older people will sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that not PC to say? Funny, yeah, so, but normally people will like swarm <laughs> in, in the front time. row or whatever. But yeah. So I know there's a lot of numbers in this show. And I know not everyone's involved in every number, but how many would you do on a specific night? 
So the show is 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, We have eight costume changes. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> so it's like it's pretty much choreographed backstage as yeah. much as it is on oh, stage. I'm sure. you, each person has a dresser, you run off the stage. Oh, you have your own personal dresser. You'll have a dresser or they'll have like like say let they have three people yeah. and you like, you know, off mm-hmm. on, clothes back on and yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's so crazy. And what do you yeah. do? This is like so crazy, but <laughs> do you get a run in your tights? Like, do you have like tight people there with like extra pairs of tights throwing them at you? I always thought we about don't that. Have tight people. What they you... should think about this, Jessica. <laughs> well, we've never had a runner. Really? That's so funny. You know what? I've never. Okay. You know why? <laughs> it's almost like spandex. It's like it's a, like it's, it's like really almost thick. like a yes. Okay. It's really thick. Okay. So I've never. I had guess a runner. I was wearing real crappy tights when I had like tights around. Something <laughs> that Candace is a part of. She is a statue at the Wax Museum in Times Square. Like that's who does that? That's so You're cool. So, so sweet. tell, You're tell so us sweet. about that. How um, did that come to be? So this was my last year with Rockhead. Mm-hmm. Um, that year I was also competing for Miss America. Mm-hmm. Um, I was representing oh, New yeah. York. She was also Miss, Miss New York. York. Side note. So <laughs> this was like a really cool year, and they had this whole media team. Um, and so Wait, you had a media team. So Rockheads have a media team. Okay. And basically, it's mm-hmm. the, it, it's own separate entity. So mm-hmm. they have a media training thing for you. And, oh, cool. Um, I think it was just a really good year. I mean, yeah. everybody likes to ask this question, like, why you? Why did you get chosen? And, no, I mean, you're stunning, obviously. Oh, you're like, sweet. your body is beautiful. Like, her you're legs sweet. are for days. Like, it's amazing. We'll do so. okay for you later. <laughs> but, no, thank you. But, yeah, no, I, um, but I guess I just, I just was really lucky. And it was, it's totally one of the biggest honors of my life. Yeah. It's, I'd like to say that I was, like, I'm the hardest working rocket <laughs> in New York because I'm posing 365 yeah. days a year. Um, but, yeah, so you can go to Madame Jesus actually mm-hmm. every holiday. They bring mm-hmm. it out. So they just brought it out. Um, they bring it to the front of the museum so you don't even oh, have cool. to go in. So, like, and when you can... you're walking in, was it 42nd Street? It's in, the, like, the front lobby area? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can go pose with it. Ooh, maybe um, I'll do that. Yeah, you should totally. You should totally do it. Do it. Um, awesome. You have to tell me. So it looks... It looks like it looks like me from a profile <laughs> a lot. Like I think the front like could be like maybe like my a really close sister, but it's close. It's yeah. really close. So how do they even do that? Do they take a mold of your face? So they take a teeth mold mm-hmm. and they get like they match your hair. Mm-hmm. I wore the makeup that I wore for the show, mm-hmm. um, and basically they put you on this machine that rotates 365 degrees, and they take camera and video, mm-hmm. and then they measure calipers. Like with calipers, they'll measure every inch of your body. Oh wow! So I was very concerned because it was the summer, <laughs> and you know I was like had my first beer. I don't think I ever had a beer before or whatever and I was like you know having a burger they're gonna know I had a beer. and they called me out of the blue to do this yeah I was like it was not really rock cut season yeah. and so I was like telling the team so this team comes from London and I told the team I was mm-hmm. like I was like hey guys you know if you want to carve anything if off you wanna, you know, feel free you know like do you're whatever silly. you're gonna you're do like, oh, but they did beautiful. a beautiful job you're She's so crazy. sweet you're so sweet yeah so from there then they they just build a mold off of all their measurements and their photos yeah that's, I really yeah. thought you like sat in like a mold machine or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, an embarrassing moment that happened to you as a rockette. Yeah, let's see. Okay. <laughs> well, so I was kind of a favorite for like a little while mm-hmm. in rockettes. You know, I don't know. I mean, they have favorites or they don't oh, or yeah. whatever, you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no, I went to <laughs> Nobody's kicking. We're just... <laughs> Not show, mm-hmm. um, like ever? not of ever, oh, but like, like of a I think this was like my second year, okay. and all the producers go to the show. Everybody's at the show, um, so I don't know if I just checked out. Mm-hmm. So it was like halftime, and I'm up in the dressing room at halftime. You called it halftime. Halftime. Half like, time. Is that like wait, wait, wait? No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do we call that? Intermission. Intermission. It's been a while. So it was intermission. It wasn't halftime. I don't even like sports. That's the funny thing about that. <laughs> That's why I'm so confused. I don't even like sports. It's the blonde. The blonde you're right. today. So anyway. So you're at halftime having a we beer. We were half in time. I checked <laughs> out. So basically, you know, people were going down. I don't know what I was doing. This was before texting was like even really a big thing. So I'm yeah. like up to there just like kind of like hanging. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And um, I hear the music and I'm like, oh crap. So I'm, I like basically I had to get down so our, the dressing rooms are, are like are uh-huh. on floor five uh-huh. so I had to get down to the to the stage level I heard the beginning of the song oh, that's the run worst into my in the dance world. captain 
in the elevator and I was like hi I mean I didn't even know what to say it's like just like getting caught red-handed yeah then I get down there and I had left my wig for the number upstairs <laughs> so they had to send somebody else out and that's like the and worst. I almost that's like ruined a night- Christmas that's like- <laughs> yeah because <laughs> you have to like lift a box and, and spell Christmas oh and like I'm literally like, literally almost like ruined Christmas for everyone. What was your letter? Were you like C? I was like, I. Like, I don't know. Either way, it'd be like super weird. <laughs> so they sent somebody out and Glad I didn't get win. hired back the next year. I had to re-audition in the whole nine yards because oh, like it that? was a really big deal. Yeah. I'm laughing about it, but this was like, <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. Wait, she's really literally she's no, concerned. but that's like a nightmare. Like <laughs> no, I have like nightmares was, where you're like was. in the dressing room and like you hear the music and you can't get your point shoes on. Yeah. And no matter what you do, you can't get your point shoes on or your you're feet, just like, and you just keep hearing it. So Christmas uh-huh. was okay, <laughs> but my job was not okay. Like it was not okay. Oh, I'm sure. Are you sure you want to share the story? Every <laughs> much. It's okay. <laughs> Happy story. Yeah, it's she fun. got her job back. She got to be a wax model. Like it all worked out. But you know, it's all about perseverance. And well, that's what's anything else you want to add to your life here in New York City? Answer. The one thing mm-hmm. that I think is really interesting mm-hmm. um, and a big misconception about, like you know, the whole New York life is. I, I think there's the romantic version of the story, you know, <laughs> like you see these people and they just like, you, yeah. like everybody's like, you just get everything. You're just a rock cat. You just, didn't. no, yeah. I failed a gazillion times and, yeah. um, like on paper and my resume. Yeah. I'm very proud of mm-hmm. all the things that I've been able to do, but it like, if I think you really have to have that thick skin to be able oh, to be here and yeah. to go like, and you know, even being successful, it like you know, it comes with a price and a time and a perseverance and a showing your face a thousand times and mm-hmm. you know crying in the corner to mom. And I want you to show me a step that the rockets do. Okay, on stage. Okay, so <laughs> I think we should do. All right, well the bevel, okay. the bevel the to bevel. start, mm-hmm. and we link up. So just oh, we'll pretend. Link. So basically, mm-hmm. it's kind of like you're just gonna sliver this arm out here, and then the right arm would go like this. But since it's only us, mm-hmm. you'll put it on your hip. Okay. Yeah. We're linked, right? So we're linked. So <laughs> mid-back, mid-back. So your right arm is mid-back, mm-hmm. and this is on the small. Your left arm oh. is on, or your left hand is on the small of my back. Yeah. Secrets of the rock heads. Total right. secret. <laughs> okay. So then you have the right bevel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so bevel. Mm-hmm. Weight is on that toe. Mm-hmm. So we'll do, like, a strut kick. Yeah. Okay. So we won't do crazy because we have our... <laughs> but so you're gonna step on the right mm-hmm. and then you retract the kick Ooh. and bring it in. Yes. Ooh. And retract. And go right Boom. to a passe. Retract. Yep. It's hard to say in that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Especially if you have to turn less Yeah, we're Ooh. looking good. And you bring your passe up. <laughs> I failed. I just, but you guys I just know, lost my job. You guys know dancing like three inch stilettos, do you? Um, how no, tall well, are your shoes? Let's do this, like two and a half inches. Okay, that's still pretty high. But you still should use your core and you really shouldn't <laughs> fall over like that. Sorry, Jess. Awesome. Yeah, but you know what? Normally they we'd be like a little yeah, bit a little more. bit more. So there we go. But so you're not be, supposed to touch. Yeah. So like, oh, it should be so all on your own. It really Dang. is your own. Yeah, it's your own weight, but you do have like you can feel the fabric of the girl next to you. So when you put your foot down, it has to go right down next to you. Like, yes. is it very, like... It's, it's like really crazy. precise. Yeah. So there's, like, a number line. There's, like, mm-hmm. there's a number line in front of you, and then there's about six lines on the stage. So it's as specific as, like, towing the line or mm-hmm. healing the line or arching the line. Wow. Yeah. Or on the right of nine uh-huh. or on the left of nine. Dang. Yeah. So that, so is, that is kind of a crazy Yeah. Cr- yeah. That's something yeah, that well, you... Yeah, well, I got to go on stage once, and I saw, saw all the boxes and, like, how it's all set up. Like, it was insane. Okay. Like, I'd never seen yeah. a stage marked up like that before. I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, that part's that part's pretty yeah. crazy. Like, so you have like notebooks that's very, yeah. you know, wow. Well, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Bar Talk, and thank you to Candace for being my guest. You can follow Candace on her Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at KP Swimwear, and you can follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Jess on Point. I also have my YouTube channel where you can watch this episode and teasers and other full episodes, and that is also Jess on Point. Alrighty, well that's it, lady. Let's grab our glasses. Woo! Have another cheers. Happy cheers. holidays. Happy holidays. Go see Radio City Christmas Spectacular. Yes, yes it's awesome. Yay. Alrighty. Cheers, lady. Cheers. Mm-hmm.